Welcome to this lesson. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the two principles that you are going to use in electrostatics grade 10 to master any calculation that you may come across. So by the end of this video, you will be able to calculate anything that you're going to come across in electrostatics grade 10. Okay, just pay attention. So we are going to use two principles. The first one is called the principle of conservation of charge conservation of charge so the principle of conservation of charge simply states that the net charge of an isolated system will remain constant during any physical change and that principle is represented by the formula q net equals to q1 plus q2 over 2 q1 and q2 these are the amount of charges for two one of this of the two spheres okay so now what i'm saying is if two spheres come into contact two identical spheres so if the spheres are identical they have the same amount of of, of shape i mean they have the same shape that I, it means they're identical so if they come into contact and they separate they will share the net charge equally that's why we're dividing it by two Okay, the second principle that we're going to use is the quantization of charge. So the principle of quantization of charge is just used by scientists to give the basic unit of charge, which is QE goes to negative 1,6 by 10 to the power negative 19 coulombs. So this basic unit will be given for you in any formula sheet. So, um... This is just like a basic unit that is given to quantis to give a quantity like a value for charge. So anything that exists on Earth that carries charge will always carry a, a multiple of this amount of charge. So um, the formula for the quantization of charge is represented by Q equals to N q e and the q represent the amount of charge and n represent the number of electrons q e i already explained is this value that's going to be given for you so this is a quantization of charge so if you are asked to calculate the charge you will be given the number of electrons so you simply multiply the number of electrons by q e and if it's not always that they're going to say calculate the amount of charge if you're given electrons, they can always ask you to calculate the number of electrons while they've given you the amount of charge. So you simply make N to be the subject of the formula that becomes Q over QE. Okay, so these are the three formulas that you're going to need to master any calculation that you're going to come across. So that is Q goes to N QE. That is for calculating charge. But for calculating number of electrons, you're going to say N equals to Q over QE. And if you want the net charge, if you want the net charge of two spheres after touching and separating, and then they share the charge equally, you're going to say Q net equals to Q1 plus Q2. Okay? You can watch the second video to see how we're going to apply these principles.